हेलो क्लास फिफ्थ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू सिक्सटीन चैप्टर इन योर इंग्लिश लिटरेचर बुक सो द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज द पिप्ड पीपल ऑफ हेमलिन ओके सो लेट अस बिगिन आर चैप्टर लॉन्ग लॉन्ग अगो देयर वाज अ स्मॉल टाउन इन जर्मन नेम्ड हेमलिन द टाउन वाज सिचुएटेड ऑन द बैंक ऑफ द रिवर वेसर द टाउन वाज फेमस फॉर इट्स ग्रेट रिचनेस एंड वेल्थ but the inhabitants of the town were very greedy once they faced a great problem the town was overtaken by the rats thousands and thousands of rats converged on the town rats of every size were everywhere these were big rats small rat fat rat thin rat old rat young rat black rat and brown rat Hordes of them entered the shop and storehouses, eating everything in sight. Those rats fought the dogs and attacked the cats. They bit the babies in their cradles. They made loud squeaking and screaming noise. Various ways of killing the rats were tired. but even the strongest poison did not harm them now long long years ago there was a small town whose name was hamlin and it was situated on the bank of the river and uh, that town was famous for its great richness and wealth but the in- inhabitant of uh, the town was very greedy so for uh, they have to face a great problem once uh, a thousand and thousands of rats were conquered on the town and rats of every size everywhere they were roaming about and they also entered the shops and the store houses eating everything and they were very powerful that they attacked the dog and also kill us uh, also attacked the cats also and they carry their ba- babies in their cradle and uh, uh, various uh, poisons were tried but they did not harm them at last the people went to the mayor with tears in their eyes the mayor called an emergency meeting he with his counselor sat for a long time wondering what to do okay so people were very disturbing about this problem so they went to the mayor uh, mayor with her tears in their eyes and uh, uh, told them the situation so uh, mayor called a emergency meeting uh, with uh, he and with his counselor for a long wondering to what to do so as they were discussing the problem a young stranger carrying a flute entered the counselor chamber as they were discussing so a young uh, stranger with a few uh, flute entered the counselor chamber and he was very tall and his uh, tall and thin his uh, eyes were blue shining blue and uh, uh, with yellow hair and his coat was half yellow and half red the young man stepped forward and said i am called the pipped paper i have rescued many kings from their trouble if you give me uh, 1000 of, of gold coins i will rid your town of rat now he was uh, telling to the uh, king that uh, uh, i have uh, i have solved many king problems so uh, i i am also come here to rid of your problem but uh, in return i want 1000 gold coins oh is that all said the mayor we will give you 2000 coins if you will rid us of these rats so the mayor said okay i will give you 2000 of gold coin if you if you help us to rid of this rat so satisfied with the agreement the pipped people smiled and left the chamber and stepped out into the street playing with a sweet strange tune on his flute now he was uh, pipped people was uh, satisfied with their agreement and now the pipped people smiled and uh, left the chamber uh, left the chamber into the street playing with a stray sweet strange tune on his flute 
Hearing the strange music, the rats came trembling out of the houses from every direction and followed the young people. The people led them to the river water. The town flock looked in surprise. They could not believe their eyes. The rats scrambled and squirted after the people as he jumped into the river. One by one, on the rats jumped into the river and were drowned. Now what had happened hearing the strange music the rat were uh, the rats were follow uh, fall suddenly and uh, from every direction and start following the people and uh, people uh, people led them to the river water and uh, they could be, they could and uh, uh, the town folk looked into surprise and what had happened that they could not believe their eyes and the rats scrambled uh, they were scrambled they were moving so quickly and uh, uh, they uh, to run with uh, a small step and uh, after that the people uh, jumped into the river one by one uh, one by one rats jumped into the river and were drowned the people were overjoyed calmly the people made his way back to the mayor to collect his gold coins he went to the mayor and said i have done my job give me my money back, uh, money okay what had happened the people were overjoyed and they were now feeling relaxed because they were all rid of uh, rats and now uh, now the people uh, go to the king and said that uh, i have completed my job now it's your turn that give me my money Mayor and the councillor suddenly looked at each other puzzled. Uh, they offered him only 50 coins and refused to pay more. The people's face grew red and he at once left the chamber. He decided to take revenge on the greedy people. Now the mayor and the councillor uh, looked them very confused and uh, uh, now they offered him only 50 coins and refused to pay more. Now the people's face become very red and, uh, uh, and he was very angry and now he left the chamber. So he decided to uh, take revenge from these greedy people. So stepping into the street the people once again took the flute and started paying on another strange sweet tune. Once again, the town folk heard the tune and also a noise of many hurrying from all the direction to follow the paper. But this time he was followed not by the rat but by the children of their town. Now uh, he wants to take the he wants to take the revenge. So what he has done? Uh, Again, he started uh, uh, started playing on its another strange sweet tune, and now uh, the uh, the children of the uh, of the town followed him. Uh, so all the street once again came a leave. All the children, laughing and dancing, skipped along behind the people, enchanting by the strange music. He led them up a hill where a giant door opened wide. Now, uh, uh, now what had uh, happened? The children uh, joined uh, joined him, and they were laughing and dancing a lot. And uh, uh, and now uh, he take him uh, to a large uh, uh, to a uh, to a hill. So the people were horrified. Now the people were again. The people were again terribly feared uh, because now uh, this time there was not the problem of rat, there was the problem of their sons only uh, or their wards only. So they were more feared. So uh, the town of Hamlin was strangely quiet for there was no sound of the children's laughter and uh, after the after a few minutes uh, 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 there was no sounds of children's laughter so the people came to the mayor and requested him to stop the people from taking away the children now uh, the children were very afraid and they uh, go to the mayor and told him that please uh, uh, do something uh, uh, and request the people to uh, not taking away the children so the mayor also realized that he had done wrong by breaking his promise now the mayor has uh, uh, realized that uh, yeah i have done very wrong uh, he, he helped me and i have given him only uh, 50 coins and i refuse for pay more
um, I have broken my promise. So the people accepted the money. And what had happened that? Uh, he argued the people to forgive him and offer to pay him the promised money. So now the mayor uh, uh, argued the people and uh, and offered him to pay his promised money. So the people accepted the money and released the children and sent them back to their home. He also reminded the people that promises once made should be kept. Now what had happened uh, that uh, uh, now the now he the mayor ready to give the money and uh, he accepted all he accepted his uh, money after that he sent all the children back to their home and uh, he also gave the moral to them that uh, once the promise uh, once promise has made then it should not be broken okay now read the chapter thoroughly i hope you will able to understand